Paul Sinclairs, who attempted to rob a bank in Florida by using his fingers curled up into a gun shape. The quote-unquote weapon was so non-threatening that the bank teller gave him only $120. If you rob me... Give me your money right now! I think the bank teller was in on it. Give me your money right now! I'm not playing with you. The, it's the, locked and loaded. The bank teller was in on it, bro. There's no way in hell... Dog, think about that shit, bro. Like, I'm, bro, if you don't get the fuck out of here, hold how hold can on. you rob somebody? How? Me money. I'm not playing with you. Give me the money. Give me the money. Not the finger. Not Give the me. Finger. Get Not the finger. Not God the finger. damn it. Hit. Don't make me do it. Take it off. <laughs> don't shoot. <laughs> the nail clippings start going in. Dumbass people, bro. What's going on, Clitch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Ross. And we in the clutch, baby. Hey. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, with another video today. You feel me? All right. We're going to check out the dumbest criminals of all time. Now, Not the smartest. The dumbest. Now, we're, we're surrounded by dumb people all the time. Very and then it dumb. doesn't make it any better when dumb people try to do crime and they do it in dumb ways. It's like... You're already dumb. Now you're about to be dumb in doing a crime and then go to jail for your stupidity. For a dumb amount of years. For a dumb amount of years. So we're going to check out some of these situations where dumb people did dumb things and found out their consequences led them to their, you know, whatever dumb situations. Demise. Yeah, their dumb demise. Dumb demise. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Dumb demise. <laughs> Come on, man. We cooking. All right, let's get into it, man. In 2009, Matthew McNally... And all right, bro. Come on. See, we starting off all. Look at these two. These niggas get some permanent markers, bro, and just. Do y'all realize we can still see you? Like we still see y'all. These niggas couldn't afford a mask, so they thought maybe if we draw it on, no one would tell it to us. I'm assuming. I can only assume that would be it. I feel like but... stupidity. You should get extra years for stupidity. All right, well, let's see if they did. And Joey Miller robbed a home in Iowa using masks drawn onto their faces with permanent black marker. Yep. Whilst on the run, gotcha. the two discovered that permanent black marker doesn't rub off easily, leading to their simple arrest and embarrassingly stupid mug shots. <laughs> However, these two still look like geniuses in comparison to some of the other idiots we'll be talking about That's as we discuss wild. the stupid... Yeah, they like, oh, yeah, man, we're going to put yeah, permanent think... marker. They're not going to ever find us. Oh, no. We can't get it off. Because <laughs> we used a permanent marker. Someone said crack man and, <laughs> and rob him. <laughs> crack man and rob him. I'm done. As criminals of all time. Take, for example, MacArthur Wheeler, who robbed two banks in broad daylight as he thought that pouring lemon juice on his face would make him invisible to cameras. When shown the bank surveillance footage, Wheeler refused to believe that he was visible, stating to officers, but I wore the juice, Extra believing time. that as long as he didn't come near a heat source, he should have been completely but invisible. But I wore the juice. But I wore the juice. I wore the juice. So it was no way it was me, or Mr. Officer. It's none at all, man. No way you can see or smell my original odor because I wore the juice. I would have been laughing as I put him in the back of the golf cart. Get the, get this nigga your turned arrest. into Lemon Man. He thought he was... <laughs> lemon Man. <laughs> the Police eliminator. concluded the wheeler was not crazy or on drugs, on. just incredibly mistaken, <laughs> with the lemon juice mistake eventually costing oh, Wheeler exactly. a 24.5 year prison there sentence. However, if we're on the topic of terrible disguises, then we can't go past <laughs> Dennis Hawkins, whose disguise as an this old lady wasn't beard. much better. His sweater accompanied fake goatee. boobs, a full beard, and fittingly <laughs> clown pants, <laughs> with this insanely recognizable outfit helping police to catch Hawkins only an hour after the robbery. That's the police wild. chief for the area stated he would get my nomination for dumbest criminal, I think. You still have his black facial hair with a blondish wig. Right. Definitely different. Different is also a good way to describe Patrick McGuire's disguise, who robbed an Illinois convenience store while covering his face with a clear plastic bag. He was Yep, because I ain't going to be able to see you at all, bro. You're right. The clear bag did it. Take everything, bro. Uh, hey, McGuire, is that you? No, it's not, man. You can't see me. Yeah. 
It's Charles. Oh, boy. He's only able to obtain $60 from the robbery. However, yes. due to his extensive criminal history, wow. he was sentenced to 15 years in prison Ooh. for the stunt, meaning that he had to spend one year in prison for every $4 stolen from the store. Damn. Talk about that a bad is... return. <laughs> Equally bad was Paul Sinclair's, who attempted to rob a bank in Florida by using his fingers curled up into a gun shape. The quote-unquote weapon was so non-threatening that the bank teller gave him only $120. If you rob me... Give me your money right now. I think the bank teller was in on it. Give me your money right now. I'm not playing with you. The, it's the, locked and loaded. The bank teller was in on it, bro. It's no way in hell. <laughs> Dog, think about that shit, bro. Like, I'm, bro, if you don't get the fuck out of here, on, how can on. you rob somebody? How? Me, I'm not playing with you. Give me the money. Give me the money. Not the finger. Give not me. The finger. Get, not the finger. God damn it. Don't make me do it. Take it off. <laughs> Don't shoot! <laughs> the nail clippings are going in. Dumbass people, bro. 120. Yeah, and I'm taking the money out of your account and giving it to you. After which he'd flee Jesus. on foot before being caught by police only 10 minutes Ooh. later. Then there was James Blankenship, who thought Blank that robbery was legal as long as you did it at a certain time of day. <laughs> Back in 2013, Blankenship broke into his own mother's home, after which the police were called, what? who would take to their Facebook page later that day to explain what had happened. He fled the scene upon seeing his mother. The male was located under the house, hiding in a crawl space. When advised of his charges, he made the statement, I thought you could only be charged with burglary, if you break in during the night time. Blankenship was given 180 days in jail Ooh. and ordered to pay a $100 fine. Yet what? this wasn't the only... A $100 fine? Bro, he robbed his own mom. <laughs> I mean, nigga name was Blankenship. He was definitely... Blank. Blank, nigga. He had nothing in his head. No brain cells, no nothing. Super only good. time when a person was dumb enough to think that a law didn't apply to them. Because when Reuben Pavin was caught stealing from a charity thrift shop in New uh, Hampshire, he'd state that he thought everything was shop. free because of the name of the business, Finders Keepers. The sign did say Finders Keepers, so I took that DVD player, took it home, Pavin told the... <laughs> uh, that's funny, bro. It's that's funny. the funniest... It's that's not funny, but... <laughs> Oh, I thought that's it. The name says Shit. Finders Shit. Keepers. Bro. Shit. Shit, all right. Shit. Finders Keepers, man. <laughs> I just didn't know y'all were going to have security alarms and cameras. What you doing that for if it's free? The local TV station. A couple of weeks later, the stuff is still there on the porch. So I'm thinking to myself, Finders Keepers. They probably just put stuff out there for people to take. The business responded via Facebook stating, this man who was caught on video is saying it is all a misunderstanding. He thought everything at our store was free. Is that really the best defense he could come up with? After which Pavin reportedly turned in the stolen goods to police, holding that he's not a bad person or a bad dad and is rather just unbelievably stupid. But was he as dumb as Derek oh, Mosley, who in 2000 2013 attempted to rob a store named Discount Gun Sales by using a baseball bat. When Mosley allegedly barged into Discount Gun, gun Sales and smashed yeah. a display counter with his baseball bat, the store manager simply pulled out his own personal firearm yep. and pointed it straight at the would-be robber, holding Mosley in the store until he was arrested and charged with- <laughs> You went to a gun store- To rob the gun store- With a baseball, with a baseball bat. bat. What makes you think the people in the gun store are not gonna have a gun to use on you. I'm surprised he didn't get shot. Cause yeah, nah, bro. Sometimes was... they be quick to. Oh, yeah, oh, oh this yeah. is a real thing. Hold on. I've been waiting God, 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 to God, God. use this one. I just got this one. <laughs> I can't that's believe just. It. That's just. You don't rob a gun store with at no all. Gun. First of all, and then on top of that, you brought a bat. <laughs> a gun. Gun. With a baseball bat. Who's going to win? You let me know. Do you let me know? First degree robbery. A similar story then came out of Texas in July 2022 oh, when a yeah. gun store was robbed at knife point, although this tale instead ended in a body bag uh -huh. as the robber was fatally shot by the store owner yep. as he tried to exit with his loot. But All what you had to say was Texas. That's it. I seen a little body bag zipper go up. Yep, that's all you had to say. <laughs> Texas on, gun store person with knife you you know how this ends it don't even all he had to say was to 
Yep, I already knew. It was GG's. They don't play that shit out here, y'all. <laughs> you try to rob a gun store out here, you better have a fucking militia with you. You better have a tactical nuke with you. Because everybody in that gun store is packing one. We talking about the shoppers. And they know these niggas. Shoot. These niggas know how to shoot. They just trying to get some more guns or attachments or ammunition. So these niggas is already trained to just start blasting. Then you got the people that work in the GG. back. They going to be ready to start blasting. Even the people that's probably mopping the floors and cleaning up the stuff. They going to be ready to start blasting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's GG's, bro. Unless GGs. you got tactical nuke. What happens when you accidentally call 911 whilst committing a crime? Pocket dialing the police is probably a fairly common occurrence. However, for Carson Whoa. Reinhardt and Nathan Teclamerium, it happened at the most unfortunate Excellent. moment, specifically while they were breaking into a car. The alert dispatcher soon realized that the call was an accidental one, and moreover that the guys on the other end might be up to oh, no good. Wow. For the next 35 minutes, the dispatcher stayed on the line, listening and gathering information, as Teclamerium and Reinhardt did the following. Discovered a car that they thought they could burglarize, discussed how to break into the car, allegedly broke into the car, exclaimed in delight over finding narcotics Boy, in the car, the became confused as to how and why a police car was following them, and reacted in disbelief when the arresting officer revealed that they'd been on the line to knock. <laughs> nah, that's the easiest case shutting wait, clothes. Wait, wait, why are the cops behind us? How they, what's going on here? Dude, your phone! Your phone. Oh, no! Who butt dials 911? during a burglary. 911 the entire time. Scott Simon found himself in a similar situation, although under much more severe circumstances. Whilst on trial for murder in 2015, Scott was successfully Ooh. sentenced to life in prison, Damn. as two years prior he'd pocket dialed the police, while admitting to a friend that he was the one who committed oh. the crime. He had no idea he called 911, a sheriff's office spokeswoman told the Miami Herald. He basically told on himself, as That's did Albert wild. Bailey, although in a much stupider what way. Bailey had planned on robbing a bank in Fairfield, Connecticut. Although rather than exercising the element of surprise, he'd call the bank prior to the robbery stating, I want $100,000 in large bills and no die packs. I'll be sending someone into the bank to get the money. Don't call the police, we are monitoring the police scanner. Prior to making this phone call, Bailey had already served seven years in prison for a previous bank robbery. However, this new plan was equally ineffective as after arriving at the bank to collect his cash, Bailey was locked inside, arrested and sentenced to another this nigga just you just got out after seven years bro seven years from <laughs> let me get this right bro you just got out of jail for doing seven years and you get out do this same ass and then you ain't even over for seven years you ain't think of a better plan <laughs> nigga said hey we gonna rob you we want a hundred thousand don't call the cops we watching <sighs> Walked up there and proceeds to get arrested. <laughs> I know them judges be like, bro, these niggas just don't listen. The nine years in prison. <laughs> Although, if he wanted to avoid this time hey, behind bars, yo. he could have had a chat with Tito and Amanda Watts, who got arrested in Florida for selling tickets to enter heaven at a price of a. No. <laughs> I got tickets to heaven right here. Tickets to heaven. One got one ticket for heaven. Got another ticket for heaven. If you want to get to heaven, you want to get to the Lord's gate. Come on, buy a ticket. Buy a ticket right now. I know you've been sitting, but this ticket right here guarantees you automatic place in heaven. You can sit as much as you want. Just take this ticket. Take this ticket right now. And it ain't even that that's bothering me, bro. I just want to know if somebody bought one. I think oh. that's the only. I really want to know. <laughs> If somebody bought one, look at the tickets. <laughs> Look like fucking little. They're planks, bro. <laughs> Appreciate you, J Cap, once again. Get the tickets. Appreciate tier. you, J Cap, bro. Thank you so They're much. Hundred dollars. Uh -huh. Tito Watts said in his police statement, "I don't care what the police say. The tickets are solid gold, and it was Jesus who gave them to me behind the KFC and said to sell them so I could get me some money to go to outer space. You should arrest Jesus because he's the one who gave." <laughs> you trying to go no, to the nebula. <laughs> Listen to this nigga. This nigga. How you going to try to snitch on Jesus, fam? He said you should arrest Jesus because he's the one that gave me the golden tickets. <laughs> it's the fact he gave him the golden tickets.
all the tickets behind the KFC. <laughs> and then you snitch, bro. If you can snitch on Jesus, I don't, oh. bro. You can snitch on anybody. Oh. <laughs> this nigga trying to go to the nebula. <laughs> he fin he finna go to the nebula. Me the golden tickets and said to sell them. I'm willing to wear a wire and set Jesus up. The couple had apparently earned over ten thousand dollars from the stunt. Meaning. All right, bro. All right, bro. Okay. Okay, dog. Hey, we've been doing it wrong, dog. We've been doing hey, it dog. wrong for a long time. <laughs> we sitting over here bullshitting, dog. We've they didn't got a wrong, four by bro. four. I mean, they didn't got a plank and cut that shit up and wrote on there, tickets to heaven. These niggas then came up with 10K while some niggas is clocking in every day. Bro. We've been doing hey, at chat. a bum ass job. We've been doing it wrong, chat. We clearly don't have the right. We don't. We don't got it right, bro. That they were able to find people even dumber than them. One of which might have been Ruben Zarate. While attempting to rob a muffler shop in 2008, Zarate was told that the shop couldn't access the money safe without their manager, who didn't begin his shift until later that afternoon. Instead of bailing on the robbery, Zarate instead gave them his phone number, asking them to give him a ring the next time the manager was in. They did so later that afternoon. Although after returning to the police store, man. Zarate received no money and was instead met by police and charged with aggravated robbery. Then there was the man who gave the people he was yeah, robbing bro. something I'm a, even I'm stupider. I'ma call you back to come rob us. Into a... <laughs> I'm a, I'm a come, I'ma call you to come come get the shit later. So yeah, the manager ain't here to open the safe now. So rob us later around 10, 11 when he gonna get in. Then you can come and rob us. <laughs> Thanks bro, we got you. Yeah, call it 911. <laughs> <laughs> this dumbass nigga gave me his number. He coming at this time, bro. Lock this nigga up. London bank carrying a gun and a bag, which he'd take to the front desk before demanding 700,000 pounds in cash from the bank worker. But after making his demands, the crook handed over his gun to the cashier instead of the bag. Investigating authority stated, the guess is that he is very inexperienced and panicked when he approached the cashier, handing over his gun <laughs> instead of a bag by mistake. But it was Trevor Jones who I would have been like... <laughs> Okay, get your ass on the get your ground. Ass, get your ass on the ground. Get down. Wait, that was a mistake. Too bad, buddy. Nah, put that shit down now. <laughs> now, what's in oh, your wallet? Oh, oh so blast. <laughs> Don't come any close. Oh, so a Looney Tune ass robbery. That's exactly. He unrobbed him. He did. Oh my God. Even more damning piece of evidence at his crime scene. After breaking into a house in Atlanta, Jones Yo, took a moment to check his Facebook on the owner's computer before leaving without logging out. Less than three years later, a similar story entered news headlines, reading a 26-year-old Minnesota man has been tracked down by police after leaving his Facebook profile logged in at a house he allegedly robbed, Who although this time? story has a much fun... Who got time to get on Facebook? And, and log in and check your fucking friend's statuses. Like, bro, what you trying to update your? That's that's disrespectful, bro. Don't rob me and then log into your Facebook on my computer to check your fucking. And shit. when was this? Cause you gotta like <clears throat> send off authorizations to yourself and all that. That's wild, bro. Yeah, ending. The homeowner decided to message the robber via his Facebook, stating, you left a few things at my house last night. How can I get them back to you? Which was followed by the robber agreeing to come back to the home so he could collect the stuff he forgot. However, the robber didn't get any of his items back and was instead arrested yes, while still wearing a watch that he'd stolen from the night before. While oh both of these God, idiots God. used social media poorly, at least they didn't <laughs> brag about the robbery in a YouTube video, as is what happened in the bizarre case of Hannah in 2012, at the yep. age of 19, Sabata stole $6,000 from a bank in Nebraska, mm -hmm. and while almost anybody else would have simply kept quiet, Hannah instead took to her YouTube channel yep. Jelly Beanie to upload a video titled Chick Bank Robber, in which she'd straight up admit to having just committed a robbery. <laughs> she'd then discuss her entire methodology for the crime, while showing the money and the amount that had been stolen, before <laughs> concluding the video by describing the vehicle she had used and that it had its license plates removed.
theft. This information eventually resulted in Hannah Sabata's <laughs> arrest and sentencing of 10 to 20 years prison, done so in a public courtroom filled to maximum capacity with people who had seen the video. Just two years prior to this, 21-year-old Frank Singleton was being released from Palm Beach County Jail, having just served time for a trespassing charge. The only issue was he didn't have a car to leave the jail, so he decided to steal one from the visitor's parking lot, yet the car he decided to steal was a manual and he could only drive auto. Singleton sat in the car looking like an idiot before being arrested and sentenced to a further six years in prison. Oh my God. You cannot <laughs> this make nigga, this, this nigga shit. got out, bro. It's something in jail, bro. I don't know what it is, bro. <laughs> Imagine niggas... you get free and you try to steal someone else's car to go wherever you want to go, only to realize you can't drive manual. So no, you end up <clears throat> end up sitting there looking stupid, and then you get, you know, you're going right back in, right? <laughs> like what? Bro, you sat there without a car. <laughs> oh my god. You was in the same place you began in by not knowing how to, not having a ride. You still wasn't going nowhere. But you went your ass right back into that cell for another six years. That's wild. That's, oh my God. Bro. Prison telling People deputies that he tried away. to take the car because he didn't feel like walking to his home about six miles away. Hey, nigga, you better, I would have walked. I'm right. free. Nigga, I'm about to enjoy these six That's miles right. of freedom. Nigga, I would have been singing and skipping and fuck it. <clears throat> his bed was still warm. <laughs> and while you may be sat here thinking that these Fair. criminals can't get any dumber, it's time to introduce 53-year-old Michael Anthony Fuller. Oh, while it's no. common knowledge that the US bank oh, note doesn't bro. go any higher than $100, hey, Fuller had the genius... <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> the last name not Fuller, though. <laughs> That's pretty close, bro. <laughs> no relations, no relations, no relations. <laughs> hmm. No relations at all. <laughs> Real close, man. No, it's not. <laughs> idea to create a counterfeit $1 million note before trying to use it wait, at wait, his wait, local wait, wait, Walmart. Wait, 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 wait. He loaded. While it's common knowledge that the US bank note doesn't go any higher than $100, Fuller had the genius idea to create a counterfeit $1 million note Bro, before trying to use it at his local what? Walmart. He loaded this cart with a vacuum cleaner, a microwave, and various other items totaling $472 before handing the million dollar note to the cashier, expecting $999,528. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm gonna need my change back. Right, what? all of it, bro. This cannot. Be, <laughs> these are the people we we coexist with, fam. All right, how much you? How you gonna pay? I'm gonna pay with cash. All right, go can y'all bring some change? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can. Yeah, I'm gonna need nine hundred and ninety-nine thousand five hundred twenty-eight dollars back. Thank you. I need it in hundreds, fifties, twenties, tens, and fives, please. Bro, that would be easy on the ones. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta go get it in the back. Hold on. Let me let me talk to the manager. Sir, <laughs> come this way. <laughs> <laughs> dollars in change. Needless to say, Walmart wasn't able to facilitate this yeah. and instead store staff called police. Uh -huh. Fuller was later charged with attempting to obtain property by false pretense and uttering a forged instrument. <clears throat> Bro. <laughs> How dumb oh, do you think people man. are, bro? Oh, bro. You only that spent was... $400. You were only buying $400 worth of groceries. <laughs> trying to get 900 Come on, bro. Come on, brother. Come on. <laughs> Come on, brother. Oh, Anywho, that was, great, bro. That was definitely <clears throat> feel a little dumb just watching that, man. <laughs> These are idiots that we coexist with. So <laughs> hopefully none of you guys are, are <laughs> any of these issues. But if y'all enjoyed uh, the video, you already know what to do. Make sure to like, subscribe. <laughs> yes, don't do drugs, kids. And if your bus was a little shorter, you know, <laughs> in school, <laughs> you need to take it slow and do things a different kind of way. I don't even know what to oh say, my man. God, bro. But we love you guys. Again, make sure you run up the likes, subscribe, <clears throat> spread love, be love. Catch you in the next. Peace out. Already. This is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.